Hey guys, what is up? It is a vlogger Matt here, and it is the ninth. I swear to you, I thought it was the seventh. It's the ninth. Um, but today we are going to do something a little bit different, and I'm very excited about it. Yay! Um, but I forgot. I it, I did not forget that it was my mother's birthday, or Mother's Day, because they're on the same day. She is the same birthday as Mother's Day. And I could have sworn, I, like, guys, I was such a week off. I should have sworn it was next week. And, and it's, a, it's technically tomorrow, but we're doing a little thing for her on Saturday, which means I forgot to get a gift. And if you know me, like, I'm pretty bomb at gifts. Um, but if you don't, you should be friends with me because I'm bomb at gifts. Um, but, uh, do I want to use this one? I want to, this one's a little dirty anyways. Um, we're going to paint something and I'm going to show you kind of the process of how I paint. A lot of it is just going to be like little updates, um, especially because I listen to music and the non-copyrighted or the copyrighted kind. Um, so yeah, but let me show you guys a couple of the paintings I have done before. Um, and we'll go from there. I think I'm going to do this one. This one's kind of big though. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure what I want yet. Um, but I kind of want, I don't know, something with, with Disney in it. Also, just ignore the fact that I'm not wearing a shirt because I'm not about to get paint all over clothes. So, that's what's happening. Nope, and I think I just got glitter all over my hand. Yep, oh man. If you also know me, I freaking hate glitter. I don't know why we have so much glitter all over the place, but it's too much. It's too much. Ew. Um, there's also this long one, or you like a skinny one. Oh, there's a skinny one. I might, oh, I might do one of these. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure it out. I don't know what I want to do yet. Something with Disney, I'm not really sure. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a quote. Maybe something that has a hole in it. These are not doing so well. Okay, I'm gonna go show you guys some of the paintings I've done before. Okay, so my mom is sitting out there, so I'm just gonna take video of the one that's in the glass case over there. She kept it in there and I don't want her to like kind of figure out what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take a short clip. It's not gonna be of me talking about like what it is or whatever, but I'll talk about it in a second. If you know me, um, <laughs> you've seen my little trailer in the beginning. Um, you've seen a couple of these, um, but so this one on the bottom is not my least favorite, but it's got a quote on it. It's. I don't remember who wrote the quote, my bad. But it's the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or touched. They must be felt with the heart. Wow, what? I think it's the, I think I know who it is. And I haven't had to look it up, but I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Then the Sukumano Matata one is kind of fun. I just like the way it looks. And then Incredibles is my favorite Disney movie. Um, I guess Big Zero is part of Disney. Okay. And this top one is not mine, but it's um, it's a one of the paintings a friend a friend drew for me, which I think is really fun. Um, but so yeah, so this one right here is my, probably one of my favorites. Uh, actually, it's my second favorite because the first favorite I actually gave to my other sister who lives in a different apartment, and I wish I would have kept it for myself because it's beautiful and I live for it. Uh, I'm gonna take a video of it. Um, but right now, we're gonna go figure out was uh, but the um one that you saw before the house i just thought like that was me just kind of practicing and just having fun and it was like christmas time so i was like i want to do something with snow and it's like it's really fun so i'm very excited about it so let's go paint something fun actually just totally blanked um uh, blanked spaced out i don't know um but i actually created six or eight paintings um, also, like, all of those paintings, I think we're done in, like, did I do it in a night? I think I did six or eight paintings in, like, one night. Um, but it was for a bunch of my friends, and I, we were about to, like, leave for the semester, and I didn't, like, I have it finished, but I knew I wanted to do it, and it, like, was the most stressful thing I have ever done. But the paintings that I did for them, like, I live for. There was a bubble one with an anchor, um, and that was really fun. I just gathered some research and did a little day. So 
what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of research of what I want to do um, and then I'm also going to find out where that quote is from it's uh, the girl I think it's the woman I don't want to be wrong I don't want to say it because I don't want to be offensive even though even though it's not offensive but I think it is the um, see because I don't know her name dang it the deaf and blind girl woman excuse me from the uh her play is the miracle worker ah oh, man why do i know so much about her but i don't know her name uh, let's see the miracle worker helen keller oh my gosh fools i knew it i figured it out i knew it i was right Perfect, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and research um, what I wanna do. I'm not even sure what I wanna do. This process is probably the hardest thing. Is trying, <laughs> that's a lie because I can't draw. Um, is just trying to figure out <laughs> what I wanna do. Uh, whether that be a quote or something fun, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. This is the whole video is me just being like, I'm just trying to figure it out, figuring it out, figuring it out, figuring out the end is just the painting. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so let's go do that. Update, okay, so it's been a couple of hours, I like to say eat dinner, I was watching TV, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm still in the very, very preliminary stages. I don't know why I did this whole drawing um, because I don't know if I'm going to use it on the actual painting. But we will see. Okay, so my mom loves Tinkerbell, so I was thinking of doing, you know, like Tinker, maybe like Peter Pan, Wendy, and Tinkerbell. This is what it's supposed to look like. So everything in mine is a little bit darker. Guys, she used a colored pencil in her video. I should have used a colored pencil. This is a warning, like a serious warning. Do not, under any circumstances, draw using Sharpies when it comes to filling in. Don't do it. Your lungs will hurt. Just trust me on this. But besides her cheek and then like her lips are a little messed up and then um overall it's like huge um if it was a little smaller it would have been like just like super close but this is what mine looks like she's a little like i said before she's a little oranger i wish this lighting is not the best um oh that works better because she has blue eyes um but that's my wendy um I'm gonna keep it for myself. Like I'm, like I'm actually pretty proud of it. Besides, oh, dang, you guys, if this was in black and like this fixed it, um, it would look so good. But um, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Also, can we just talk about it is May and I am wearing Son of a Nutcracker pajama pants. That's just yay. I am sitting here like listening to Disney music and I have like a couple of thoughts. So like I was thinking of filling the whole canvas up with just like drawings. So like the whole thing is just like, just, oh, okay, this is so loud. Um, just like different, like, you know, drawings of what Disney characters, you know? Um, and then I thought the Wendy Tinkerbell Peter Pan thing, um, and I've thought about a couple of other ideas, but I'm not just, I'm just so not sure what I wanna do. Like, I just wanna draw and I just wanna like do something fun and like big. Cause like the other stuff I've done, I mean the, the Disney castle is the other one I've done. That thing's huge. It's ridiculous. Besides that, like I wanna do something else big. I don't wanna just put a quote on there and then fill it up with like a small painting. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I need help, I need assistance. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay, I think I have changed directions one more time. Uh, I did another preliminary sketch. This one is less detailed than the other one. And of course I didn't focus on it because it looks like a Slenderman Tinkerbell, but um, this is the sketch. Um, and she's pretty much looking into the night sky. Come on, focus. It doesn't want to focus. Oh, whoa, there we go. Hello. Um, she's just looking out in the night sky, which I think is really pretty. And, like, I'm bomb at night skies. Um, so I think this is what I might do. Um, I'm just so 
stuck. But like I'm going through Tinkerbell, you know, paintings and just trying to figure out, oh my gosh, what I like. And I'm just, it's so frustrating trying to figure this out. It shouldn't be that hard. But it is. Someone send me help. If you ever wonder how I am like, this is it. <laughs> Executive decision, even though there's only one of me, but we are bringing out these. These are thinner canvas um, boards, and I am going to draw that Tinkerbell, and it's going to look so good. I'm very excited for it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm switching accents so many times, <laughs> but oh, I can't get it open. I cut my fingernails. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do, so I'll give you some updates, um, while I sing my songs. I don't know why, but my eyes hurt so bad. I think it's just staring at the screen way too long. Like, I'm actually dying. Like, look how cute I look. Oh, not at all. Also, is it weird? Like, if you stare, oh, also, dang it. I've been meaning to stare over here. My bad, y'all. So if you, like, stare, right, and then move your head, it's so scary. Like, you're not moving your eyes. But, oh, oh, no, thank you. Okay, let's get on with it. All right, so the final preliminary stage is done. This is what the final product is somewhat going to look like. Lines are going to be a little bit cleaner. Again, her body is going to be more... Not sure what the word is. I guess more human-like, sure. Um, and these kind of look like butterfly wings, which I really like. It's just so pretty, um, but I'm gonna try and get it as close as possible to match up, um, cause I really want it to look like identical. Um, and of course this is gonna look different. Um, and then you got her and her little bun. Her bun is so cute, y'all. I'm about to turn this into that, um, but not without giving credit where credit is due. So, this person, DeviantArt, by My Apples. Um, shout out to you because you are really helping me out. Um, I'm not selling these, you guys, um, of course, because it is for my mother. Um, and then this one as well, which is Etsy, made by a color or two. I am doing this hand drawn, hand done, so I'm very excited. I'm excited to see really what the, oh, I can't pick this up, what the scope is gonna be. Um, and I am giving up for the night because I'm exhausted, but she is this big so far. So I gotta figure out how to get her body bigger so that this whole canvas is not just the stars. And I'm not about to fill it up with a quote. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not putting a quote on there. Um, I might figure something out, but I'm not putting a quote. I wanted to do like the London city background. Um, I did like a little test off of another person's thing and it looks not that great, but yeah, I don't know. It's okay, but I'm excited. Here we go. Okay, update. It is the next day. I went to go work out and I am now drawing the um, picture on the canvas. Um, this is basically what I'm starting with. Um, I've given up on the arms. I mean, it really doesn't look that bad. Um, it's going to look a lot different once the wings are in there, but like... I said, you know, really the only way I can get the arms this way is, uh, like, because if I want her bigger on the canvas, which is, this is pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm just going to have to make the arms a little slender. I'm going to have to fix the shoulders because the shoulders are a little bit, one's a little broader than the other one. Tinkerbell got some man shoulders going on, um, which she kind of does. She's almost like a, I mean, she's very petite, but like. She's got like man shoulders, so uh, I'm just trying to get it just just right. So that's like the problem with me is like I need everything to be like, cause I'm like very detail oriented. It has to be just 
just right. I don't want to say perfect because I know nothing's going to be perfect, but I, I just got to get it there. So I will keep you posted. Another quick update. I'm going to clean this all up, of course. And of course, the paint's going to cover a lot of it up as well. But this is the final drawing. I am going to start painting. Hopefully it comes out pretty well. Look at how disgusting. I redid stuff over and over and over again. That's why it looks this way. Um, but in the end, it's gonna look bomb. So uh, I recommend if any of you guys are gonna do this, um, cause night skies are pretty popular and I do a lot of them. Um, however, if you do a night sky and you do something with it, make sure that you paint um, the person or object or town, whatever you're doing first and then paint, um, then start painting the sky. And then if you're gonna do stars with it, um, using, you know, the splatter paint, make sure that um, you control it with your finger. That way you don't get stuff on the other parts of the thing. So that's my little tip. Um, but I think I'm gonna go take a little snack break and finish up this Riverdale episode. Um, it's gonna be a goodie. I'm right, it's a little later. And I don't know why I said it like that. And I'm doing well. I'm painting a little bit more, figuring stuff out. I was trying to figure out the blonde hair. And boom, that's what she looks like right now, guys. Like, look at her, she a queen. Um, but look at, okay, so never, tip number like two, I think. Never be afraid to use a pencil. Um, this you can't it's hard to do with a brush anyway and i tried to do brown stripes like a little bit lighter brown but this still looks bomb like i i had to go over it again with yellow because it didn't look good with the brown and then it infused itself together so never be afraid to like mix colors either um but you know you can use a pencil and make it look authentic like it doesn't look like pencil lines you know um well especially far away it's like oh whoa um, and she's tan for sure, like 100%. And I love the back of her dress so much. Um, and then we painted the shoulders. I don't know why I'm saying we. Um, I'm probably saying that because I was just hung up with a friend. Um, and she's a little bit of an artist. So she like helped me out um, with the hair. And then I was like, nope, I'm fixing it. Um, <laughs> but she did help out on a couple of things. She helped a lot on my castle drawing. But anyways... So I'm going to do this a little later. I'm going to jump in the shower because I got to go to work and I'll probably finish this up tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to do the sky and then I'm going to figure out what I want to do with the stars. It's like my next dealio. Um, I got to figure out because I really want the second star to the right. And I kind of want, but we tried, we we talked about a firework design as well because I'd done that before and it looks really pretty. Just like regular splatter paint. Um, and then I got to figure out whether I want to outline her in black or not. Um, but you guys, I just realized that it, you know, like if you look at it for a second, it almost looks like if you take first glance, it's like, oh, she's got like really long arms, which I mean, still no less, I guess she kind of does. But if you look at it, I feel like her arm would be like right here. And she kind of looks like she's flying forward. So I think that's really cool. It's getting long. Um, as you can see, this is the progress that I've made. It is now Friday. Tomorrow is when I'm giving it to her. And it looks pretty good right now. Um, I actually really like the way it looks. Um, I'm doing the different pastel colors. Well, a little bit pastel. I'm doing like a Tuscan teal um, is what it's called. And then a purple as well. Um, those are the three different colors that are going to be on there. This is the co blue covered up part. Um, and it's actually going to come together really, wo really well, I think. Um, it's going to look really pretty. Um, and it doesn't look like it's almost done, but it'll take me maybe an hour and a half to wrap up. So, yeah. So, I'm going from that to this. So, it's crazy. Okay, y'all. This lighting sucks, but okay. So, it's almost done. I'm just going to do something up here. Um... But tip number three, when you're doing colors, of course, um, I mean, some people may not know this, but um, like for a night sky, if you're trying to make, you know, one part darker, one part lighter, mix black um, with, you know, well, of course, this one's going to be blue. So black and blue. And then you can, there are different tones that you can put. You can do even more black and less blue, you know, half and half. Make sure you always paint the bottoms and the sides. Um, I got to finish 
I gotta put the little green there. I forgot to do that. Um, but um, and then use your paintbrush, and uh, I used a thicker brush, but um, just like drag, just drag it so and like wipe it across so it mixes and blends the two colors together. If I had a light um, that actually worked, you'd be able to see the smooth transition of color. Um, but I love how the wings turned out. They actually look super pretty. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do up there. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know what to do up there though. That's the thing, I'm gonna figure it out though. I will update you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom now um, because it has better lighting. Um, Cause it's also trying to dry, but it's done. There is a metallic um, color out there. Um, or not metallic color, what is it called? Glitter paint? Okay, here we go. So it is the Craft Smart Glitter Paint. It looks like this. It's the gold kind. And it works perfect for fireworks if you're trying to design fireworks. And be quiet because their door is open. And I don't want to hear. Anyways, so it works perfect if you're trying to do fireworks or you make something glittery. Um, but I did it. It looks so good. It looks so good. I like it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I flipped the camera. Um, that way you could see the whole thing. Let me step back a little bit. Um, but her wings and then her body <laughs> and the fireworks and the stars and the way it transitions that you can see, like here especially, the transition between dark and light. Um, if you really come close, you can see where it kind of like, so the dark, darker comes down here, the lighter goes up against it, and it glitters, it glows, it like glows. It looks really kind of disgusting up close, but once it dries, you'll see it. It's more glittery than it is puke, poop brown. <laughs> this is going to be a weirdly placed clip because I didn't talk about it. But I wanted to point out one more tip. Make sure when you are splatter painting, it, you can very much control it with your finger. Use a thicker brush, one that's a little bit wider. Dip it in the paint. And I recommend using a paper plate um, for some of the bigger paints that you need to do. Um, it helps, and it helps to mix in there as well if you're using a bigger brush as well. Um, but use a thicker brush. Just scrape it, do it sideways, meaning, um, if the paintbrush is like this and you're painting like that, flick it the opposite way that you would paint. That way the paint splatters onto the thing. It works. I mean, you can do it both ways. It really it really doesn't matter. Um, but and you can also do it different ways. You can you can also slam it on. I will say one thing if you do it this way, it's going to do smaller splatters with like little 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 bits of um white and, or whatever color you're going to use um and then if you like flick it on it's going to do a little bit bigger like this um so just whatever you guys would like um for consistency that's what i recommend um but that's all i got today um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope some of the tips that i mentioned really helped um again shout out to the woman who first um made this painting i will put both of their links because there were two women I will, or they could have been men i will put two both of their links in the description down below um just in case you want to design your own of course don't you know sell it if it's not your idea um but this is a fun craft that you can do at home and really you guys like i'm really bad at drawing Anyone can do something like this. Just put your mind to it and you can do it too. So remember, it all starts with an idea. Remember, it all starts with an idea. Dream big, guys.